episode of Life with Annie, I thought I would show you guys my Bibles. Now, this is not all of the Bibles in the house. There are others. My husband has his own Bibles. My son has his Bible. But this, this is what I use. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so let me just get into it. This is the Common English New Testament. This one is supposed to be very easy to read. Uh, it's put very much into layman's terms. Not my favorite, but I do use it in comparison to some of the others. This is the King James Version, which I'm sure everyone has heard of. Tried and true, old school, many churches just use this version. I like this version, but it's not my favorite. My favorite is this one. This is the one that I use mostly every day. It's got all of my tabs. I underline a whole lot in here. Uh, there's not room for notes in here, so I have to use my notebook when I study in this one mainly. But this is my favorite version. It is the New King James Version. It's like this one, but just a tad bit easier to understand. And I, this is the one I carry to church. This is, this one's my favorite. <laughs> this is called The Story. This is the Bible as one continuing story of God and his people. So this is more chronological. This one is a little bit more difficult to use when you are trying to study because it's not in the same order. And this is in the NIV. Not a huge fan of the NIV. Like I said, this one is my favorite. This one was actually my husband's and he didn't really care for it. So now it's mine and it's in my collection. I like it. The print is a little small for me as compared to mine the print in mine is a little bit bigger I like the bigger print I have bad eyes I have to wear the handy dandy contacts or my glasses my bun buns moving okay and then I have this one this one I actually got when I was studying at Salem. This is the one that was assigned for class. And this is the new Oxford Annotated Bible, New Revised Standard Version with the Apocrypha. I like it. And it's got the built-in tabs here. Uh, so it makes it easy for you to flip through. I'll have several of them laid open on the table and I'll have my notebook and my highlighters and I will just be going to town comparing all of them and taking my notes. Next is this one. This is the Life Application Study Bible. This is the New American Standard. No tabs, so you gotta find it all on your own or you can make tabs which is what I did with this one. I made these and they come in handy. But this one is a study Bible. So it's got a lot more information in it. So as you are comparing your versions, there is a little bit of history in this one and more maps and it's helpful. I like it. Next is my new one. And 
these tabs I did not make, but I put them in. And they're really pretty, if you can see them. <laughs> this one is the New Living Translation. And it has plenty of room for notes and Bible journaling, as I did here. Didn't even mean to open it to that page, but that's the one it opened on, so. But I, I like it because as I'm, like I've said many times in the video already, as I'm laying them all out, studying them together, I can take notes and I can do my Bible journaling in this one. Because I don't like to Bible journal in my other ones that don't have any of the room on the sides because I don't like to cover up uh, God's Word when I'm doing it. I like to be able to read it all because yes while I'm feeling a specific verse at that moment and I might want to journal about that if I cover up the rest when I go back and read it later I won't be able to see it. Know what I mean? But I like this one. And I like my pretty tabs. And this one is my beautiful Bible. See, it's all shiny. Woo, woo. Shiny hair, too. So pretty. This one, my husband got me. He wanted me to have a beautiful Bible that we could just sit in the house or I could study with or whatever. He just thought it was really nice and he got it for me because he knows that I am a huge fan of shiny things. I always joke that I'm like a magpie. This is the King James Version and this is the one I put on display in the house because it's pretty. Looks all, you know, so it has pictures. Pictures are in black and white. And it's got many more but this is the one I put on display and I'll put it in my little stand and then for Christmas I'll display the Christmas story and so on and so forth and then if it's on display and out in the house then if people come over and they pass by it they'll stop and just kind of look and that makes me happy <laughs> even the people that don't read the Bible or go to church they will pause and look at it and it just warms my heart so these are my Bibles that I use display Bible and then my study Bibles and my compare and contrast Bibles and all of that I like them they make me happy so if you have any questions about any of these feel free to comment below and I will answer to the best of my ability and I really enjoyed making this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope to see you next time on Life with Annie. Bye guys! Bye.